Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another part of our email and phone authentication video series. So in the last two part we created, we connected our application to the Firebase and we also created the templates that is required for login and sign up as well as we created the template for the tab layout. Now in this video we are going to implement the fragments that we have created for the login and uh, registration and we are going to integrate that with the tab layout. So if you don't know about tab layout then I have separate tutorial for that in the channel. So if you want to learn more about that in that video I talk all about tab layout and how we can implement that. But uh, if you just want to continue with the video then uh, follow along with me because I'm just going to follow the same steps to you know uh, integrate that tab layout with the fragments that we have but uh, if you want to learn about tab layout in great detail then you can watch that video so i will link that video in the description anyway so uh, let's go ahead and start the android studio and here what we here we have left in the last video so now i'm going to continue from here and if you remember in the activity main i have created this tab layout with the login and sign up button and we have this pager to display the fragments. So now we need an adapter for the tab layout to work. So we need to create a pager adapter so that we can load the appropriate fragment when somebody click on the login or sign up tab we have here. So to do that, I'm gonna start by creating the class pager. I'm gonna create the new class called pager adapter. Okay, so this is the class that is going to handle the click or slide on our tab layout so that user can navigate around okay and our pager editor is not going to have that much of uh, code it's just going to have the uh, few methods that that will handle the uh, operation of our tab layout so uh, our pager adapter is going to extend the fragment pager fragment pager adapter because we are going to load the fragments when the tab is clicked so i'm going to extend that fragment page arbiter now you can see it's going to uh, need to override few methods so i'm going to implement the methods by clicking on this red bulb and we are going to implement two more methods that is get item and get count so click on ok and after that it's going to uh, implement the required method now here we have the get item method which pass the position of the item so we can use this methods to load the appropriate fragments into the tab so if somebody click on login then we can uh, load the login fragment that we have here and if somebody click on register in the tab layout that tab layout we have here like in if somebody click on sign up then we're going to load this register fragment into this particular view pager okay so uh, now here we also need the constructor so that we'll be able to pass the data from the main activity when we actually call this. And now uh, previously, maybe in the, uh, the tutorial that I have made on the tab layout, I may have used this fragment page adapter with fragment manager, but now they have deprecated this particular methods and they have added new method, which uh, needs to have the behavior, okay? So now I'm gonna check this fragment pager adapter which need two arguments that is fragment manager as well as the behavior so click on ok and after that it's going to uh, create this constructor with the super methods inside okay now i need to keep count of the number of tab that we have in our tab layout so that we'll be able to you know uh, handle the click on the tab layout so that we can you know take care of the click on zero or one tab that is we currently have two tabs so if user click on login tab that means it is in the number zero that is it is in the zero position and if somebody click on sign up then it is in the one position but if you have like multiple tabs like if you have four tabs then you're gonna have zero one two and three numbers available so we need to keep track of number of tabs available here okay so to do that i'm going to pass the number of tabs that we have in this tab layout when we call this pager adapter so that's why i'm going to create new private field here our, our integer data type called number of tabs okay 
and now I'm going to pass as I'm going to pass that data through this constructor here so integer number of tabs and now finally I'm going to assign this to number of tab private variables we have in this uh, class and I will assign the number received from the constructor okay and now here we are going to return the number of tabs as the count so and now finally inside this we can take care of the clicks or we can take care of the events that the user going to do or user going to click on our tab layout okay so uh, generally we can use if else methods or switch method so we're going to pass the position and now based on the position clicked by the user we are going to load the appropriate fragment into the pager okay so uh, in our case we only have two tabs so we are going to we're going to have case 0 or case 1 okay 0 means user have clicked on the login tab and 1 means user have clicked on the sign up tab so case 1 and break and we're going to have one default just in case you know if user uh, perform some invalid operation then we're going to we're simply going to return the null now as i said if user click on the jeros position tab that means we need to load the um, login fragment so we have we already have the login fragment so we can use a uh, return method let me do, do that here so return and we will just create the instance of the login class we have okay and similarly i can use the same code just for the case one that is we are going to load the okay, register fragment all right but now you can see we are using the return here we don't need break because that is useless obviously yeah so this is the code that we need for the pager adapter now let's go back to the main activity and implement the tab layout so First of all, we are going to need the variable name for the tab layout so that we can connect the resources. So I'm just going to name it as tabs. And now I'll connect that with the XML layout we have id.tabs. Make sure this is the correct variable name. So I'm just going to hold control and click on this and it should uh, send me to the tabs here. Okay. So that means we, we are pointing to the correct XML resources. All right. Now, similarly, we need to create the variable for tab items and the pager. Uh, now, let's go to the main activity and create the tab items. Okay, and one is for login, tab item, as well as the register tab item. Okay, so these are the two items that we are going to need for our tab layout since we our tab only has the two tabs. So login tab items, I'm going to connect to the tab item that we have in our tab layout and I may have not given the uh, ID for that. So login tab and this is the register tab. Okay. And now here I can point this login tab item variable to the correct XML resources. So login tab right and similarly for the register tab item we can use find view id method r dot id dot register tab all right and now we also need the pager variable so i'm going to create view pager okay and let's just name it as pager and in the main activity if you remember we do have this pager so let me make sure it is pager so here you can see by default we have this view pager too but we are, we are going to use the pager only view pager so i'm going to remove that and add the pager here and i'll select this pager from here and we are good to go okay make sure to change this if you don't then you're going to get some error when you run this application or you may not be able to load the fragments here okay so yeah uh so i'm gonna going to point 
this pager to the correct XML resources. So let me make sure that we have this pager ID here. And now pager equals to I can use the find viewer ID added ID dot pager. All right. So these are the variables we need, and we also need one more uh, instance of pager adapter. So I'm just going to create the adapter. Okay. So these are the things we need, and now I'm going to add the on click listener on the you know tabs so basically when somebody click on the tabs we need to handle that event so that we'll be able to you know load the appropriate fragments as i said already so now we can add on tab selected listener so whenever tab is selected it's going to call this particular method here so new tab layout dot on tab selected listener and here you can see it is automatically override few methods for us that is on tab selected on tab unselected and on tab release reselected based on the operation that is that user is going to perform we can handle that event so if you want to do something when user sel uh, uh, select the tab you can perform that operation here and if you want to do something when user unselect some particular tab then you can perform that operation here and just like that if user go back and reselect the tab he has pre previously unselected then you, you can perform some operation but we are only interested in on tab selected because we are only going to handle if user one if user select the tabs right so what we are going to do is when a user select the tab we are going to set the current position of our tab so that you know uh, when user uh, select this tab we want to highlight this particular tab right and if there if user select the sign up tab we want to we need to deselect this and uh, select this highlight green button here if you uh, watch closely you can see this highlight but uh, border here at the bottom of this tab it's going to change to this particular sign up tab when user click on this so to change this we need to uh, you know select the active tab layout so active tab items so we should indicate which tab is currently active and to be able to indicate that we should uh, override this on tab selected listener and inside this on tab selected uh, method we are going to uh, let the adapter know that uh, this particular tab is currently selected by the user okay so now uh, we can call the on set current item method of of this pager instance so item and inside this we can pass the current position of the tab that is selected by the user so to do that we already have these tabs passed through this particular method and we can use tab dot get current position or get position right so that means whenever user tab on the any of the tab then it's going to highlight that particular tab or it's going to set that particular tab as a active tab and it's going to load the uh, appropriate fragments because if user click on the zero or login it's going to highlight the login tab and it's going to um, return this particular fragments and similarly for the case one or sign up okay so that is the logic here and uh, now and if you have previously used the tab layout you can also have the option to slide from one tab to another so we need to make sure that user can slide from one tab to another okay so to make sure that we need to uh, add the on page change listener to this tab using our pager uh, we can add on page change listener okay on page change listener and inside this we'll uh, keep track of tab layout and we'll change this tab when the uh, layout is changed or tab layout is you know slide from one to one place to another okay so this uh, on page change listener is going to handle the slide from you know, one tab to another okay now one last thing we need to do is to create the uh, instance of this adapter you can see we don't have that right now so i'm just going to create adapter new pager adapter and if you remember we have to pass some arguments that is one is fragment manager another one is the behaviors and the number of tab right so to pass that we can get the fragment manager here directly so get support fragment manager and after that we need to pass the behavior so there are multi uh, two or three type of behaviors that we can pass through this 
only behavior that we are interested in is behavior resume only current tab or current fragments okay and after that we'll pass the number of tabs that is present in our tab layout and we can do that using tabs dot get tab count okay it's going to get the current number of tab that is present in our tab layout and now we'll use this pager to set the adapter and we'll pass the adapter variable okay so this is the code that we need to implement the tab layout and now i'm going to run this application before that i'm going to connect my device okay the my i have device uh, i have connected my device here now i'm going to run this application and we should be able to interact with our tab layout in our application so let's wait for that okay the application is running and let me show you the screen okay so this is our application you can see full authentication and we have login and sign up button here tab and we can uh, you know change from one place to another we can just tap on the these tabs and it's going to open the particular uh, fragments but one more thing you can notice here is we have this uh, toolbar that i don't want so just to remove that toolbars i can uh, go back to the android studio and add one more style with the no, no action bar uh, command so i'm just going to go to values and styles and i'm just going to copy this existing theme that we have for our application and change from dark action bar to no action bar okay and i'm gonna give the new name because i can't have the same name here because this is the base theme so i'm just going to give no action bar as a name now i can go to the manifest here android manifest.xml and i will just change the theme for this main activity from here so theme yeah and now i can choose the new action bar so if i run this application again it should hide that toolbar we have here okay so let's see what happens okay so this is what i'm talking about now we have this tab and the fragments is loaded correctly so now from the next video we are going to implement this sign up page here so we'll just let the user create account using email first and after that we'll implement the phone numbers and otp and everything so if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do so because a lot of good stuff are coming in the videos and i will see you in the next video bye bye